Hey everybody, thank you for tuning into my channel today and welcome if you guys are new to my channel and for all of the returning subscribers. Thank you for tuning in and welcome. You guys are always welcome to today's video where I'm going to be talking to you guys and explaining to you guys the adaptogens, okay? The adaptogens, what are they and how, how do they work basically? Um, so yes, adaptogens is basically a category of herbs, you know, herbs have all these different categories. So adaptogens are one of those categories and it's good to know these things for you guys who are interested in my wellness stuff to know about these things. So I figured why not make a video about adaptogens and kind of explain that to you guys. Um, by now you all should know John if you don't know him by now. Hello everybody. Yes, this is my partner. So, you know, he kind of pops in and out of the videos here and there. So you guys, he's going to be in today's video. So let's go ahead and see. Let's begin. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, I'm just joking. Sometimes he is a little camera shy. <laughs> but we're going to make him. Um... We got it today. So right. I'm going to give you all some info. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so why don't we start off with... Um, it's just basically explaining what adaptogens are and for you guys who for just in case you guys don't know john actually is in school right now for um herbs and and medicinal herbs and understanding herbs right uh -huh. and uh so our first topic today is going to be adaptogens so we're going to dive right into that so adaptogens basically are plants and some mushrooms that can when you're adjusting it to your body, they'll be able to help combat stress levels. And they can do such a thing without affecting your organs or your bodily functions in a negative manner. They can, they just dive basically into your body and help combat these things for you. Yeah. Dealing with stressors and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. Adaptogens, they do that. Same, they, they basically do that. Adaptogens will help with stress related um, problems, you know, so um, there's different kinds of herbs that are adaptogens, but for the most part, they really help deal with stress levels when you're dealing with flight or fight moments, like moments when it's like traumatic moments, moments where it's like um, you're under extreme pressures, whether it's at work, whether you're not really getting enough sleep, whether you're putting your body through um, overexerting your energy. Too much activity and whatnot. Yeah, too much activity going on in your body, going on in your mental as well, um, because some adaptogens actually assist with um, anxiety, which is a lot of exerting too much energy out with your actual, with your with your mind, with your mental, okay? And also with the body, it could be like joint muscles or joints, like your shoulders and whatnot, and as well as the muscles. Yeah, absolutely. It can be your body muscles if you're over exerting your your actual muscles like if you're an athlete and you and you're really putting your body through a lot of stress and you're doing a lot with your body um when it comes to over exerting your energy and your muscles um adaptogens are definitely a great thing to actually help when it comes to those things and like john says when it comes to adaptogens the reason why the adaptogens are so important is because what they basically do is they balance things out in the body so whether they're balancing out your um stress levels or whether they're balancing out your blood pressure or whether they're balancing out your um adrenal glands or whatever it is they balance things out in your body but the reason why adaptogens are so important is because they balance things out in your body without actually affecting the bodily function of an organ so without actually um, hindering the balance of a of a of an organ or the bodily function of a of an area of your body, um, it will still get the job done without actually messing with your system. Um, so it's an aggressive, very healing, very um, very um, it works very directly on an issue, mm -hmm. very directly on the issue without actually having to harm the body. So it's definitely an important and vital herb when it comes to healing yourself, especially if you're going through like really traumatic experiences or if you're going through um, sometimes chronic illnesses, like some, some of these, some adaptogens can assist in curing 
um, or at least decreasing cancer particles inside of somebody's body and as well as tonics but that's going to be for a different video but yes yeah, so it definitely works with that and um, definitely helps with flight or, flight or fight moments right um, do you have anything else to add so it can also deal with the uh, inflammatory problems as well as working to reduce some um, anxiety levels and also even aid in curing depression oh yeah definitely if like anything mental that that's overexerted anything that's imbalanced so um depression you know that's an imbalance your emotions are imbalanced um one of the one one of the um the ones we want to say like as an example would be ashwagandha which is native to uh parts of africa as well as parts of asia and uh, india i believe and uh, india more specifically um but yeah ashwagandha do you have anything to say about ashwagandha i know it's like um you know it's obviously an adaptogen um and um it is also um what which one is it ginseng you want to do ginseng uh, ginseng that i know that's uh, works strongly with the uh, aiding in like blood pressure levels and whatnot helping to uh, increase the blood flow in the mm -hmm. body which is exactly why ginseng is recommended for men when it comes to helping them um helping their little man or big man <laughs> or medium man Aiding with the ed if, if you will yeah um, helping that actually if you're having erectile dysfunctional problems um ginseng will actually help you um because ginseng um, basically helps with letting blood flow throughout your body so if blood isn't going through your body in a normal way and that bodily function is not balanced, ginseng is going to naturally balance it so that your blood can be pumping like a normal way. Um, so it yeah. definitely helps with that. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind that uh, these are all natural products too, so you don't have to take any pills or none of that, none of that, uh, that goat weed or anything you see <laughs> in the stores. Yeah. You just want to stick to more natural products such as ginseng. And it's also not restricted to just men. It, no, you can still, women can obviously take it as well. Yeah, women benefit from ginseng as well. A lot of the, a lot of the things that um, herbs that men take that have that can help men, a lot of those herbs also have can help females as well um, with other things, with blood flow and stuff like that as well. It's just mainly it might help men um, more so when it comes to specific um, problems. So they kind of try to advertise it with men issues. Um, but yeah. Ginseng is just one that we wanted to talk to you guys about. It's an adaptogen and it basically helps with all of those things that we mentioned. It helps with a number of other things as well. But um, overall, adaptogens are definitely important because the one of the things about adaptogens is where it gets its name from. Okay. So adaptogens are called adaptogens because they have the ability to adapt. Exactly. They have the ability to adapt. They yeah. actually not just within the uh, the body, but also within, you know, growing outside in the different climates and stuff, uh, heat, snow, rain, all of that. It can yeah. thrive in those environments. Yes, they thrive. Like they actually do the best in harsh weathers and that's why they're called adaptogens because they they go through they survive in weathers like other other types of herbs other categories of herbs they are in a set climate and that's the only place they can grow and it has to be just the weather has to be just right um they only grow one season out of the entire year but most of the times with adaptogens they actually adapt to their environment and they can actually go through all four seasons to an extent um which is why they have the name adaptogens because they adapt to their environment another reason why adaptogens are called adaptogen is the fact that they are actually um adapt with each other <laughs> so um the best ways to use an adaptogen is to actually mix it in with other adaptogens anything that's in that works to fix or it's not fixed but remedies uh, similar aids or problems within the bodies you want to put those together with another adaptogen of that nature exactly and it will help be more potent in trying to cure that, that specific ailment exactly it when you take one adaptogen and you add it with more adaptogens that are all geared towards helping the exact same um, issue that you're trying to tackle um it actually them working together actually enhances its 
ability to help that issue. So they work with each other and they adapt with each other so that they can really um, tackle the, the ailment or the issue. So that's why they're actually called adaptogens because the fact that they adapt to their environment and the fact that they adapt with each other and also the fact that they adapt with your body. They don't knock your body off, um, off rhythm or anything. They don't mess with your bodily functions. They are actually just to your body, but still tackle the ailments that they are um, geared towards tackling. Um, so now when it comes to actually, um, so, you know, we went over what adaptogens are. We went over how they work, even why they're called adaptogens. Now, we do also want to add in um, basically when should you one use adaptogens and how much of it should they use. Yeah. So for all this greatness and whatnot, you still don't want to overindulge in all these products and whatnot because it still is dangerous. Um, different adults since you know their sizes, you got to take all that into account. Adults, children, large size people, small size people. Mm -hmm. Your dosage varies based on all of those conditions. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, it's basically case by case scenario. You always want to talk to your doctor. Um, you know, most times people who are herbalists, people who make concoctions of herbs and sell it, um, that's a great thing, you know, that's a good thing. You know, these are things that we um, plan to do in the future. But at the same time, most of those people are not um, actual doctors. So um, you have to mm -hmm. you have to definitely make sure that you talk to your doctors all the time before actually going ahead and taking herbs. One, you could be allergic to the herb. Um, two, you could be actually taking medication that the herb doesn't... Um, they just don't mesh with each other. They don't mesh with each other. So for example, if you're taking lower blood, if you're taking high blood pressure medication and the medication you're taking is lowering your blood pressure and then you go and you take an adaptogen and you drink the adaptogen tea and um, the, 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 uh, that tea or that herb that you're taking actually lowers your blood pressure. Now you're doing two things that are lowering your blood pressure. So now you're overindulging in that. And then that could potentially be dangerous as well as the pharmaceutical drugs. We, you know, we just don't know what they're putting into those. We don't know what they're putting into it. They have really horrible side effects and those side effects, the, the, the things that they're putting into it to even give you those type of side effects or to cause those type of side effects wouldn't mesh in with anything honestly you would have to make sure that you um talk to your doctor about that and especially when it comes to um how much how when should you use it and all that stuff if you're pregnant you want to talk to your um, health care provider as well and for the most part if you're pregnant there's actually a lot of herbs that are not good for pregnant ladies you know i'm actually certified when it comes to womb healing and womb health with herbs okay and i can tell you right now there's only a select number of herbs that are actually safe for pregnant ladies to actually use um and for more information about that you guys can actually follow me on instagram i will leave a link to that instagram um i'll have two instagram pages inside of the description box but i'll leave the link to my Blooming Woman Instagram page inside of the description box where I give information about um, women's health and herbs and stuff like that. Um, but yes, if you're pregnant, there's only a select number of herbs and especially um, adaptogens, tonics. You don't, I would recommend you never take those mm -hmm. when you're pregnant because basically what they're, they're doing is they're expelling things out of your body, especially the tonics and stuff. They're actually purging your body and releasing toxins. And whenever you're pregnant, you don't want anything to release things out of your body because you have life being created into you. And if it's releasing something out of your body, it could possibly actually, unfortunately, um, cause a miscarriage. So that's why when you're pregnant, it's not good to do any detoxes. Okay, um, but yeah, other than that, it depends on your age because if your body is really small, you shouldn't be sitting there and drinking a bunch of um, stuff. So yeah, there is dosages. Amounts, yeah, you don't want to overdo it. Right, you don't want to overdo it. And there are herbs, there's in other categories, and even certain herbs that um, basically you can drink two mug sizes of it a day and it'll be fine. Um, but then with most adaptogens, uh, sometimes it's good if you just drink half of a mug a day and even then you want to space it out so yeah i think we covered everything is there anything else everything yeah so
that's probably everything for the adaptogens. I hope you guys liked the video, okay? You guys comment below what you think about this. Comment below if you have a video request on um, any videos you guys want me to do. If you want to see John Moore in my videos. Um, and if you want a video for us to do together. Um, but yeah, absolutely leave your comments below. Mingle with each other. Share your thoughts and all that stuff. Guys, do not forget to like share comment and subscribe and subscribe to the video um to my channel because <laughs> i definitely need you guys support to get this channel growing and to spread the knowledge and the spiritual wisdom and um the guidance and um what else do we need to say natural herbs over pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals. every day all day any day and um yes thank you guys so much for tuning into this channel once again my information is, in, is inside the description box so yeah we'll end this channel this video <laughs> we'll end this video right now by saying bye you guys and make sure you hit the like button and we also been trying to think of a slogan to say <laughs> at the end of the video and i think the one that matches the most is to say um all right guys we're gonna be out and we guys have a great day let your soul guide the way okay much love bye bye peace y'all yep did you say did you say let your soul guide the way okay all right so bye guys and thank you so much for tuning in and we're gonna say let your, your soul, soul guide, guide the way. way okay guys stay safe out there and we will see you guys inside of the next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.